when one thinks about musical greatness, one inevitably thinks about Grimes and Bella Porch. They're definitely up there with the greats. DJ Khalid likes to scream we the best music in his songs, but he's wrong. They the best music. Every song they ever made is nothing less than a timeless masterpiece that will be enjoyed for generations to come. Alright, I reached my sarcasm quota for the day. The truth is, they're both industry slaves. And everything about them points directly in that direction. Bella Porch is a massive star amongst young people. Her celebrity status is due to TikTok, the Chinese social media app that is profoundly affecting the behavior of an entire generation of kids, while gathering a staggering amount of data about them. Apparently, TikTok's algorithm really loves Bella Porch, as she's one of the most watched personalities on Earth. Grimes is also a big celebrity, mostly because she had a child with billionaire Elon Musk. Since then, she used her privileged position within the world elite to embed herself all over mass media and social media. Although Grimes and Bella Porch became stars through different paths, the end result is the same. They've turned into industry robots who are used to promote the elite sick agenda. In the past years, both Grimes and Bella Porch were depicted as androids, surrounded by all kinds of symbols relating to monarch programming. Furthermore, the one I sign is just their way of telling you, I am owned by the elite. What happens when you put these two self-proclaimed robots together in a video? An MK Ultra Transhumanist Festival that is appropriately called Dolls. The cover art of the single depicts an android Bella Porch whose head was cut off and possibly held from above by the hair. Also, the wink makes an oh-so-clever one-eye sign. Robots are programmed to accomplish specific tasks. And this is what these two robots do. Their mission is to expose young people to the elite's mind-rotting agenda. To put things in context, Dolls continues where Bella Porch's video build a video left off. Yup, her first video was literally titled Build a and it featured Bella being put together in some sort of doll factory. Then the dolls went haywire and wreaked havoc on us all. It was awful. Of course, the entire thing was littered with intense MK symbolism. The entire concept of Bella being built in a factory is a direct reference to monarch mind control, where slaves are programmed to become beta programming or killers, delta programming. We see examples of both in the video. But that being said, the video was a massive hit with young people, as it currently sits at over 400 million views on YouTube. Dolls is the sequel, and everything was done to attract young eyes to its agenda. Here's a look at the video. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Dolls begins with Bella holding her dying friend and screaming. Bella is being tracked and monitored on multiple screens. She is being monitored by a shady figure who wears a ritualistic robe. He represents the occult elite. Then, the hooded figure presses a button, and we see the title screen. The word dolls gets cut apart. Considering the fact that the cutting happens right when the headed figure AK of the MK handler presses a button, the image can represent the fracturing of an MK slave's persona. It also represents Bella being literally torn apart. The blast caused by the handler caused her to lose an arm. Then, for no specific reason, some creepy rabbit-like thing rushes Bella. In MK programming, the symbol of the rabbit is all important. Like the white rabbit who leads Alice through the looking glass to Wonderland, the MK handler leads the MK slave to dissociation. In other words, this rabbit is there, because this video is all about mind control. So, Bella manages to push that thing off her, and she starts liberating her fellow dolls, or MK slaves. This is how the elite perceives celebrities used to push agendas. Then, the robots walk awkwardly around the city looking for revenge. Also, they're dressed like The blonde girl with the stockings is Chloe Cherry. 
She's a big actress who appeared in over 200 films. More recently, she starred in Euphoria, a teen drama that insidiously grooms its young viewers by exposing them to hardcore s**tility involving minors. Now, Chloe Cherry appears in a video that is aimed at the TikTok generation. But all of that being said, Porch is still missing an arm. Luckily, she sees a bionic arm for sale. What are the odds? So, Bella puts on the arm, and she becomes super powerful. She punches stuff and even shoots electric blasts. This is how the elite sells transhumanism, one of its most important agendas, to the youth. By making it cool. Transhumanism is a philosophy that promotes the merging of humans with robots, and it has been gaining steam in the past years. All across mass media, from blockbuster films to music videos, the addition of robotic parts to the human body is portrayed as an infinitely cool upgrade that grants superpowers. This is one of the many news articles promoting transhumanism. This is from The Guardian, a the outlet of the global elite. Equipped with her transhumanist arm, Bella leads her army of robots to the headquarters of the company that made them. There, they are met with men dressed in white. They're very hostile. So, on one side, we've got the girls. On the other, we've got the men. Evil, generic, faceless, white men. They're the enemy. Through this scene, another important agenda is communicated to children. Division and hatred between men and women. Throughout the years, Vigilant Citizen analyzed countless music videos portraying the torture and murder of men as a good empowering thing. That's because masculinity is not a trait that is desired in the elite's NWO. Meanwhile, the hooded figure watches the chaos unfold below. The hooded figure, who represents the elite, looks down on his empire. He owns everything. He is also the MK handler of Bella Porch. In other words, they're telling you exactly who they are. At the bottom right, we can see a billboard promoting an amusement park titled No Man's Land. It's a small detail, but it represents the radical ideology that rules the industry. It hates men, it hates masculinity, and it wants to suppress it. And who is behind it all? The man who is part of the elite. Because he knows. If men decided to unite and kick his ass, he'd be done. That's how rulers were brought down throughout history. Anyways. Bella uses her bionic arm to storm into the office of the hooded guy. Mannequins are the elite's favorite symbol to represent MK slaves. Bella is basically one of them. However, just as Bella was about to get the guy, he presses a button. Then Grimes comes out of a box and stops Bella. Grimes is basically an MK slave programmed to protect her handler. And she does so by fighting Bella for a while. However, during the fight, the robots end up in the secret monitoring room. When Grimes sees what is happening outside, women being hurt by men, she stops fighting Bella. The two slaves stand there as Bella appears to say, look at what is happening. We shouldn't be fighting each other, we should be uniting against the patriarchy and fight men. Also, check out my... The video ends by listing the celebrities that appeared in the video. I didn't recognize any of them, but I found out they're YouTubers, streamers, influencers, stars, and other people with no discernible talent. Remember when people in music videos had something to do with music? That's not important anymore. It is all about reaching the brains of young viewers by any means necessary. Not too long ago, parents used to complain about young musicians being too rebellious. Nowadays, we are seeing the exact opposite. Pop stars are constantly depicted as literal robots with no minds of their own and no free will. They're fully controlled by powerful individuals and they're completely powerless against them. Now consider the fact that young people live their formative years looking up to these artists. What kind of generation is being molded by this culture averse to freedom and independence? Some might say that Bella is actually fighting against the system in the video. She's really not. While fighting against the elite, she actually promotes its agendas such as transhumanism, mind control, and war between sexes. She was programmed to do so. 
And now she is used to program our children. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this. They have done a lot for us all. And thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.